Hi, this video is going to take you through the setup of V-Serial OSC for Gridlock. This is going to be based on the max runtime version, which a lot of you are using. Um, if you do have the full version, then everything in this video applies, but you do have the additional option of placing the Serial OSC max pat file in any of the directories that you have set up under file preferences. I personally put all of my external uh, material into into this directory so you're free to do the same or you can just follow uh, these instructions and and put it in the same location as you would for standalone. The first thing that I'm going to show you is what we would expect to see if we have no serial OSC max pat installed on the machine so I'm going to start up the max runtime here I'm going to drop the latest version of gridlock into there uh, this was a, there was a slight update to 3.50 which adds a new indicator onto the monome configuration screen as you can see down here uh, which should provide indication as to whether you have got the serial osc.maxpat installed correctly so I'm gonna open up a patch I tend to use uh, polygon okay so we can see here that this location here is actually blank because we don't have serial OSC dot max pack installed at all. If we go to the log we can see here that it can't find the file so obviously we're not going to be able to have any connections for serial OSC here. I'm going to close all this down and then what I'm going to do is take the serial OSC dot max pack as downloadable from the monome website. I'm going to drop it into our patches directory. I'll, I'll put the full path names of these for Windows and OS X up on the video. So I'm now going to restart my runtime. Make sure it's a runtime. Drop gridlock in. And open up the same path. Okay, so we've actually loaded serial OSC this time. Okay, that's there. I'm going to open up my own config now. We're still in the same position. This indicator has not lit up. And if I do change this to serial OSC, then nothing is is happening here. And that's basically because the version of serial OSC dot max pat that we have got installed doesn't contain any of the additional code that I've put in to support gridlock. So I'm now going to overwrite the serial osc.maxpat with the one that comes with gridlock which contains the additional code. Restart the max runtime once more. Okay, drop gridlock in. Okay, and I'm actually going to open up the modern config here this time because should work. So now if I open Polygon, okay. So you can see this time that you can see on here that we've loaded uh, the serial OSC, the serial OSC max patch. We've got the name and the version down here, and I should then just be able to go do that. So that's connected. I think if I actually kind of just uh, set up my control here okay and I can go and create more of these serial OSCs and they should now be available okay so hopefully that makes things a bit clearer um, unfortunately some of the max patches actually come with uh, with serial osc.maxpat 
provided. Now, if the max, if if the patch is in an expanded form, so here we can see that this is what I've downloaded for this. If this was to contain a serial OSC dot max pat in the directory, um, then when we started this up, it would be using that version. So, in order to use the version we've installed, we can just simply remove serial OSC from this directory if it exists, if it's in an MXF um, then I'm afraid it needs to be rebuilt by the author not containing um, the serial OSC dot max pat. Um, if, you, if you basically if you can get Polygon up and running on your system uh, which shows you have actually installed my serial OSC uh, serial OSC dot max pack correctly and then you're having issues with other max patches then uh, drop me a line and I'll look into it and as always any other issues um, let me know and I'll fix them as soon as I can hopefully this helps cheers bye